is my first vlog. Just uh, finished putting this uh, top on, on top of the legs of this bird table that I'm making. So this is the actual table bit where the birds actually come and eat the food off. And um, my next job will be to uh, reconstruct. Basically, it's a restoration project. This is the original piece. Um, at the bottom, I've reconstructed the legs because they broke, they rotted after about 20, 25 years. So it's a lot more solid now. This was the second stage. And the third and final stage is to rebuild the actual roof. Different angles. There we go. So, uh, I will be planting white onions later in the potage with my daughter. Okay, we'll see you later. Right, okay, we're here in my potage now. Uh, really hot and sunny today, it's probably going to tip about 18 degrees. And here uh, we, today we're going to plant onions, white onions. I'm just going to put a layer of compost, uh, my, own, uh, my own compost that I've made myself, mixed with a bit of pork compost. Should have done this in autumn really, just before winter. But uh, it won't do any harm doing it now. Got enough compost. It's best to walk from this side for that one. Should be able to reach this. Are there more or less? Are oh, more? There's a limit to how close I can do that. I know, but they're too close together for shallots. So I'm going to do shots in another. Oh. In another. No, unless I do them at the end, yeah? Yeah, that's what we can. We do every other one. Right here. 
This was a piece of plastic that was on the GoPro box. And it was just there just to present it nicely. But anyway, it just came off there and I just cut it out. And I thought rather than throw it in the bin, um, I'll make my own support bracket to go on my tripod, which has a missing piece. And here I cut a lip out. I'm gonna pop it in there, pull this lever around, release it, and it locks in place. And now I've just got to get this onto here. Now I've tried sticking it, but it won't hold because there's a big hollow in the middle. So I'm now using this same parquet flooring material, cutting in it in half, and I'm gonna fit it in the middle. So I've got a solid base to stick onto here. So let's go. Well, here we are at the Moonland de Jumeau. As you can see here, there's a lovely weir here with a lovely weeping willow tree. Let's have a look at the other side then. What have we got here? There we go. So we'll check that out for fishing one day. During the confinement, I'm not allowed, so never mind. Right, after a hard day's work, it's time to relax a little. You're not actually allowed to go out fishing during the confinement, but I'm fortunate to have a river in my back garden. So I'm not going out and staying in. Right, today I am feeder fishing. I'm using a method called with a feeder rod. I've got a cage and then a hook length of about 30 centimetres. Hook at the end, I've got a hair on the end which I use for pellets. Today I'm using worms, I'm going to just hook them straight on the hook and it doesn't seem to bother the uh, fish with the hair on the end. I'm not too fussy here. And for bait, I'm using worms, worms from the garden. more natural than that. So, thread a worm on. bait mix. I'll put a few pellets in with this ground bait mix. See if that helps. It's just like a river ground bait mix. Normally for barbel it's got a bit of cheese in there as well I think. All I've caught on it so far this year is roach and gudgeon. I do I caught a nice gudgeon here the other day. It must have been about about almost 20 centimetres long, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a baby barbel. We don't get barbel in this river anyway, so it couldn't have been. Okay, let's lob this out and see what we can't catch.
destroy the void. Come in. Got a fish straight away. Can't be bad. Yeah. It's a trout. Look, come and have a look at it. It's a trout. Must have been what those people put in. Oh, there we go. That was an unexpected guest. Feed a fishing on a worm, and I catch a trout. Rainbow trout. It must have been stopped in here at some stage. Now at this point, the fish I caught had swallowed the hook, so I stopped filming so that I could save it, which I did. Well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? A trout. In my little river here. It certainly wasn't wild. I think uh, somebody must, must have stopped them into the river at some stage. Anyway, let's see if we can catch what we're trying to catch. And that's like a nice big roach or a perch or something. Show this out. I hope we don't get another trout. I did put him back, by the way. As much as trout are okay for eating. I don't really need to eat the trout at the moment. So. Times get tough then uh, and I might have to collect and do it. I caught some nice chub on the feeder river. Um, I think I was using uh, pellets. And I've caught them on worm before as well. And, uh, there's some fairly nice roach in here too. Very big perch as well. So I'm yet to catch one. I've seen other people catch big perch in here. So I hope you enjoyed my first video. I will be back soon with another confinement vlog. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.